A few years ago now, I was talking to a Christian brother, and I knew this brother used to go out and do things like street preaching, evangelism, sharing his testimony for Jesus, but it didn't seem like he was doing that anymore, and I asked him why. He told me that it seems everyone in the United States, in this country, in this town, everyone has already heard the gospel. So it is kind of pointless. This is what he told me. But I want to tell you something about this that I have realized. Everyone in the United States may have heard the gospel. Virtually everyone seems like they have heard the gospel of Jesus. They have heard some gospel of Jesus and they have heard some testimony from the Bible. But almost unanimously, it has been the false phony gospel. It has been the gospel of easy grace. This is the gospel almost virtually everyone has believed, even if they aren't really following it. They believe that as long as you have said a prayer and asked Jesus for forgiveness, as long as you are trying, even if you're still sinning, you will be saved and get to heaven. That is what they believe. They believe in the easy grace gospel. They know how to quote Paul that we are saved by grace so no one can boast. And they think that if you try to actually follow Jesus then that would be a salvation by works gospel. They discourage anyone from actually living holy or anyone preaching holiness. It is a sad thing that so many people have heard the false gospel. I don't know how many people have heard the true gospel. I don't know how many people in the world have heard the gospel of Jesus of repentance. I don't know how many people in this country or in California or in my town have heard the true gospel of Jesus Christ that he speaks to us and he's calling all people to repent and to reconcile their relationship with him. He loves us. But most people do not love Jesus back. They love their sin more and they have bought into the easy grace gospel lie. I preach Jesus because I love Jesus and I hope more people will come to love Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. He loves us. But unless you love him back and really repent, then you will not be saved. Make sure that you truly love Jesus and are reconciled to him. May the grace of Jesus be with you.